Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're checking out the Play Arts Kai, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Root. So I hope you guys will enjoy the review. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, stay tuned guys. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the packaging. So on the front, we have a nice photo of the figure itself. And we have the Final Fantasy VII Remake and Play Art Kai logos. And it's pretty much the exact same on the sides of the packaging. So on the back, we have a few screenshots of the figure itself. And down here, we have some credits on the making of the figure. And as for the inside of the packaging, once again, we have a nice photo of the figure itself. And down here we have a bit of text on the character. So if you guys want to read this, feel free to pause and read. And here we have the figure itself in a very nice window display packaging to showcase the figure inside the box with all the accessories. Okay, so this is a look at the accessories that come with the figure. So as you guys can see, we have a spare head sculpt and a spare pair of glasses that come with the figure. We have quite a few pairs of interchangeable hands and of course we have the figure itself. Right over here we have the display stand that comes with the figure and of course we have the packaging and down here we have the instructions on how to assemble the head sculpts. So yeah, that's a quick look at the accessories. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Okay, so just a quick look at my entire Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake and AC figures. So these are all the figures that I have from Final Fantasy VII. And of course we have the remake figures at the top. So of course we have Root, we have Sephiroth, we have Reno, Aerith, Rufus, Red 13, Cloud Strife, and Tifa. So yeah, I will have a review of every single figure here. So if you guys want to check it out, then it will be on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe and be sure to ring that bell notification so you guys don't miss out on all these remake reviews. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a closer look at the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake Root. Stay tuned guys. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at the figure. So now, I don't have a lot to say about this figure. It's a very plain design, there's really not much going on here. The main thing about this figure is the head sculpt, because he's basically just a guy in a black suit. So uh, yeah, really not much to say. So I initially did not want to pick up this figure, but seeing as I've got the other remake figures, I decided to pick him up in the end. But I've got to say, it is a pretty nice representation of the character. It does have a pretty good likeness to how we did in the game. And uh, you can see his lips are painted a pretty dark red. You can see his eyebrows painted in there. He has these sunglasses. I think they're stuck onto the figure. He even has these piercings on the side of his ear. It looks pretty realistic. Like the skin almost looks real. You can almost see like the pores and the oil on the skin. It's kind of freaky how realistic it looks. So yeah, quite a nice head sculpt. And moving down here to the body, and we have the arms with all these nice folds and creases sculpted in there. We even have these cufflinks sculpted on the uh, on the suit, which looks pretty nice. Uh, so these are the gloves, which are my favorite accessories, my favorite hands to display on the figure. He's kind of pulling them down, which I think is a pretty cool pose. So this is how I choose to display the figure. And moving down here to the legs. And as I mentioned before, I mean, it's a very simple design. There's really not much to talk about here. But uh, here we have the boots with these pretty cool pins sculpted into the boots. Very, very nice. So this is the side of the figure and we have a nice profile of the face. Quite a nice profile, it looks really good. And moving down here to the hands. So these gloves have a pretty shiny wash. Gives off a nice shine in the lights. As for the suit, it gives off a nice matte finish. And down here we have these chains. So uh, yeah, these are sculpted onto the figure, so you cannot remove them. But uh, yeah, they are made out of a soft piece of plastic. So you can kind of, you know, you can kind of bend them about. And here we have the knees and the side of the boots. So the other side of the figure is pretty much the exact same. We have all these piercings on his ear and all the stubble sculpted in there. It is quite a nice profile. And of course the head is very smooth. 
And here's a look at the gloves, which are super shiny. And here at the suit, we even have this purple handkerchief tucked into the coat pockets, which is quite a nice detail. And we even have the purple tie sculpted in there. This is the first Root figure that we've ever had from Square Enix. So even if it's not one of the more popular characters, I'm still happy that they made this figure. So here's the back of the figure and we have his head, the back of the bald head, which is super, super smooth. And moving down here to the back of the suit, it's really not a bad figure, it's just such a plain design. Okay, so here is Root, displayed beside Rufus and Reno. So yeah, they look great as a trio. This is basically the main reason why you want to pick up Root, because he looks great displayed beside these two characters. He really helps to complement them. You definitely need to pick up Root to help complete the trio. So here's a look at the alternate head sculpts that comes with the figure. Yeah, he just doesn't look right. I just think this head sculpt down here looks so much better. And of course we have the, uh, the spare pair of, uh, of glasses. Um, but yeah, I mean, the paint job in the eyes isn't too bad. It's just, I'm just not used to seeing a character like this. So um, yeah, I don't really like this head sculpt at all. But once again, it's pretty much the exact same detail. Okay, so let's take a look at the articulation for the figure. So the figure's got pretty good articulation. There's really nothing in the way to hinder the articulation. So as for the head sculpt, we have a ball joint in there. And this is a very nice joint because the figure has no hair, so there's really nothing in the way at all to uh, you know, restrict the movements. Um, as for the shoulders, we have these ball hinge joints. And this suit is also made out of a soft piece of plastic, as you can see. Same goes for the tie, which is a you know, pretty cool feature. Um, as for the, uh, the elbows, we have these newly developed double hinge joints, which can bend all the way up, like so. Uh, we have a ball hinge joint at the wrist, and we have a ball joint inside. Seems like we have a ball joint inside the torso piece, but it's a little bit difficult to get to. Uh, we have a ball joint at the waist, and we have these ball ratch joints at the hips. So we have a swivel joint at the thigh, we have a double hinge joint at the knee, which can go all the way up like so. And we have these ball hinge joints at the ankle piece and the hinge joints at the toe. So overall, pretty good articulation for Root. Okay, so that's about it for the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake Root. So guys, if you are a big fan of Root, I mean, he is a pretty nice figure. I would say he complements Rufus and Reno perfectly. So I would say if you're a big fan of Rude, then pick him up. You know, it's not a bad figure, but otherwise, you may want to pick up a different figure in the line. But anyhow guys, I hope this review was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as I mentioned before, I will have a review of every single figure here. So if you guys want to check it out, then it will be on the channel. So don't forget to ring that bell notification so you guys don't miss out on all these remake figure reviews. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, take it easy, guys.